back again. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm back again. Um, waiting for Instagram to do its thing and uh, announce to people that I'm online. Here they come, here they come. Thank you very much to everyone who's joined in, who's joining in from wherever you are. Uh, this is your one and only Waka Waka Doctor. Always bring you the best gist when it comes to moving abroad. Um, today is no different. Look, I am exhausted. I am exhausted. Um, for the last 24 hours, I haven't slept. You know, I've been talking about various migration options on Twitter. Um, I've been with some friends and we've been talking about several ways to move abroad on Twitter and it was fun, you know, and we went on for 24 hours. But um, you guys require information and I'm here to provide it to you. It never stops, never stops. And maybe that's why I, pre I get upset when people say, oh, you're just talking. All this thing don't work, you know, because um, we put a lot of effort into trying and um, to help with as much information as we have. And today is not going to be any different. Um, we're going to be talking about care jobs and visa sponsorship um, in different countries, okay? Um, my guest is not someone who is um, unknown to you. It's someone you already know. You've seen a couple of times on my live session. And I... Um, I... Don't go live every time. I will unfollow you. This is what I'm saying. Unfollow me now. Why are you announcing that you want to unfollow me? Unfollow me. Are you paying me? Did you give me money? Unfollow me. What's my What's my business? Um. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna bring up my guest, who you already know, who's been here a couple of times. Um, and one of the reasons why we decided to have this live session is to, um, give you an opportunity to ask questions and to, um, show you proof that it works. Okay. Proof from individuals who have passed through the stage, um, and have gotten what they want. All right. Thank you, Yasil. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. I try my best. I do my best. I do what I can. Um, so I'm just going to bring up my guests straight away so we can get this party started. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Thank you, Quinduru. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Building Concepts. Thank you very much. Happy Diwali from India. Happy Diwali. Hi. Hello, Doctor. Good to see you. Good to see you. How you are, you are shining. They will not know we were in this space together. Huh? See me. <laughs> Good evening, good, everyone. Good evening. Good to good see evening. You all. Yes, I'm happy to be here again. Thank you for having me yesterday on Twitter. And uh, I'm happy to share, you know, good news with you and your uh, your audience today. It was, Thank you. It was, Twitter was amazing. I, I wish there was a way we could do it on Instagram, but unfortunately, it doesn't have that same, you know, yeah. radio where a lot of people can join in. But it was amazing. We went on. 24 hours we completed wow. our day, you know we spoke about everything wow Look, thank you for coming again thank you for coming um i think for those who don't know you we'll just start by you know formalities and um for you to introduce yourself tell them who you are and what you do okay thank you very much good evening everyone from here i'm in the united kingdom good afternoon good morning wherever you're joining us from my name is laura kola wale and i'm the ceo of grammatorial education Grammatorial Education is an educational consulting that assists people that want to go and study abroad, work abroad. We provide UK accredited qualifications that are off-call regulated. We provide various trainings to help you upskill in your career and get that dream job that you have been desiring in the country of your choice abroad. In addition, I am an accomplished civil engineer here in the United Kingdom. I run a recruitment agency for international nurses and healthcare workers, and I also run a home care agency in the United Kingdom. I have lots of caps to my, you know, feathers to my cap, but we try to do everything just to help you achieve your goals. Thank you. That's a, a, a bit of summary about myself. And I've been doing this for over 20 years now. This year actually makes it 21 years that I've been assisting people with going to study abroad, work abroad, 
I myself have been a beneficiary of the system. I came to the United Kingdom very many years ago uh, when little was known about the certificate of sponsorship. I did my master's and I got a certificate of sponsorship to work as a civil engineer. I worked for very many years as a civil engineer. And right now I'm just focused on helping people to achieve their qualifications, upskill their career and get that dream job. Thank you. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, so I, I just have a, a series of questions here for you. You have, you've been doing this for quite a lot number of years. You've been helping people, especially those in the healthcare space, um, yeah. junior carers, senior carers, social care workers, um, of the of optometrists, um, nurses. So long as you are, you want a space within the healthcare, you've been providing them with training. You've been providing them with um, interview package, career supports, and stuff like that. So talk to me. How has it been? How has it been? What, what? Let's talk about the process first. What's the process with Grammatorial, and how has it been so far? Okay, thank you very much, Doctor. Um, thank you for your question. The process has been really great and um, you know we're always seeking for new opportunities so when we started we were heavily focused on the united kingdom and then a window of opportunity opened in ireland we quickly took advantage of that uh, opportunity in the republic of ireland for care workers you know and that started that was launched in january 2023 and, um, you know, a window of opportunity opened again in Australia in May 2023, and we brought that news, you know, to your audience and the New Zealand package as well. So um, that's been the process for Grammatorial. We've been providing training to people that wanted to switch into the healthcare line that did not have a qualification. As you, as you may or may not know, the audience watching, the minimum qualification for Australia, New Zealand, and the Republic of Ireland is a UK equivalent of the level three diploma in healthcare support or health and social care. So we deliver these trainings in your country, wherever, whatever country you are, whether you are in Nigeria, in Ghana, we have students in Kenya, in Nairobi, in, um, in Cameroon, in Benin Republic, in Asia, we have students in Dubai. So uh, irrespective of the country where you are, we are able to provide this training for you. You're able to get a UK recognized, accredited, off call accredited qualification. And we just need to find a hospital or a care setting in your location where we partner with them to deliver the clinical units. So this is how it has been for us. And it's just been windows of opportunities, doors of opportunities opening up and we are constantly on the lookout for these opportunities so that we can harness the opportunities for our students, our learners, our clients, you know, that come to us. So that is our, you know, our goal at Grammatorial Education. And apart from the qualification, we also provide, you know, mentorship coaching packages for doctors that are looking to relocate maybe and work in a different, you know, occupation code in the healthcare sector. And we also, you know, support nurses as well. We support other healthcare professionals that are looking to relocate to the four countries that are currently on our radar for now, are Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, and the UK. So those are the four countries that we're able to provide, you know, support, whether you're a qualified professional or whether you're someone that is looking to switch careers. Thank you. Fantastic. Um, and I, I like I like proof. I like evidence. You know, there's something um, Bonner boys to say. You go explain. You go explain. Tire no evidence. So <laughs> I like to provide. I like to provide evidence. And while I know that um, it's not been a strict journey, it's not been a very smooth journey. But I'm more about providing results. And I know that you've 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 had results along the way. So I've decided to invite two of your, um, should I say, former students or students who, who are just concluding with you, just to ask them um, a series of questions so that people who want to sign up with you can know what they are um, going in for. Um, Olakito, your camera is off. Are you here? Yes, I'm here. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, you're familiar with Grammatorial, are you not? You're familiar with Grammatorial? Yes, I'm an alumni. Um, I'm an alumni programmer. now. How? Um, what's your background? What did you did you did you study? Did you go to school? What do you do? Um, 
I studied French language and currently I work as a virtual assistant and also um, part-time FK worker as, uh, as an we should have Ukrainian from there. Ah, okay, good, good. <laughs> All right, so you, 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 you studied French education, your background is in French, but you decided that you wanted to go into healthcare, so you signed up with grammatical education. Was it, yeah. was it the UK you want, you, is it the UK you want to go to, or Australia, or where? Um, Initially, when uh, we started out, I think it was the UK that was actually recruiting, and then other countries got to know about other countries. So right now, I'm looking to any you know any of those countries that actually worked out. Okay. Now, how how has it been? How's your experience been? How's your experience been with grammatical? You have no background in health. You mm -hmm. didn't know what they were doing in health, uh, but now you've received the training. How has your experience mm -hmm. been? Um, I would say it's been um, like any learning opportunity that is actually different from your background. It can be a little bit challenging, but when you actually um, on a path that you feel that you have somebody that is you know holding you by the hand, showing you what to do, you know, encouraging you, which is what Grammaria has been doing for us, you know, encouraging you into you know, becoming a better version of yourself, not relenting, okay, this might be difficult for you, you don't have any background in science or whatever, but you are here now, you know, you just have to put your mind to it and all that. So it can be challenging, but at the same time, it's exciting because, you know, we are, we, we, we are part of a, an educational program that actually wants us to succeed. So during the process of actually um, going to your um, um, place of, um, your placements, which are clinics and hospitals, and also, you know, trying to write CVs and cover letters, we got support, you know, we were, we were, we were helped through the stages, I would say that we're literally, you know, uh, supported through all those. So it feels challenging, but exciting, and there's a lot to learn, and then you are just, you know, going through the phases like that with help and all that. So I would say that that's how it's been for me. Were you, were you scared at any point? during your training that oh. maybe you will not be able to complete the training, maybe this thing is mm -hmm. not true, maybe it's not real. Were you scared at any point? Um, I wouldn't say really scared. At, I wouldn't say being scared like that, but you know, when, when you feel like things are not going the way you want, you know, you feel like, oh, I expected this and it's not happening and you know that it's not anybody's fault. Like life just, things just, um, appear things just happen like that but you know during those process during those waiting times that we we're on the course and we we're looking we we're hopeful for what we happen because we were being come we got we, we were we were getting information we we're getting constant updates from you know madam laura that okay this is what we are up to at this point this is what you should be expecting this is when you will get this this is when you get that so it feels better you feel better you know trying to navigate all those challenges and all that so I think we, we, we were really encouraged through it, so it doesn't feel as bad as and, uh, uh, have being you, have, you gotten, have you gotten your certificate yet? I have a certificate yes. with me. The hard copy is here with me, and the e-copy was also sent, so I'm just going to, I don't know, I'll try and block off her name, but that's it. You can see that that's um, from TQ UK, and um, I have several hard copies with me. And um, a light on phone is here, so I'll, I'll see if I can block off the name, but just so that you, okay, so that you can see it. So can you see it? Yes, yes. So that's yes, TQK, yes, yes. Um, RQF, I'll just show, RQF, yes, RQF, take her name RQF, off, that's yeah. the seal, and then that's the, you know, the authentication code, and that shows that it's off core regulated. So the off core regulated one is the one that is accepted by the NHS and CQC. So this is like the real original certificate. And it comes with a transcript as well that carries the off call, you know. So it comes with that transcript of all the units so that if you want to use it for any country outside the UK, they can actually see the courses you studied. They can see the credits. They no, can don't, see, don't, you know. Don't show us our score. Don't show us our score. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't show you our score. <laughs> so it shows all, you know, it has, it has the proper transcript. 
and it can be verified because it has a QR code that just takes you straight to the TQ UK website where it can be verified. So it cannot be cloned. It, it's not a okay. certificate. Okay. <laughs> All right, so um, I have another question for you. I'm sorry, I'll soon let you go, but I have another question for you. What kind of support did you get? How was the support? And I'm not talking about, um, I'm, I'm more interested about career support that you got with help to get jobs in the UK or Ireland or anywhere. What, what was it like? Yeah, so I would say that firstly, because a lot of us on the course, we do not have any background. Most of us do not have any background or tangible background in healthcare. So when it was time for our career week, we we got um, Gamateria brought in people that already worked in the UK, people in different you know, agencies and all that. And they came, they guided us through our CV, they corrected us. You know, there was a lot of back and forth, especially for people who are, you know, uh, not. Um, that people who have um, high professionals who have even forgotten about CV and all that. So it's actually, we felt supported through that because we had a CV that is UK standard, that is even international standard, apart from just being UK standard, then cover letters as well. And then in process of getting other supporting documents like um, um, XTs, which is language um, verification, like equivalent of IELTS. And then we also got, we, we went, we, we were taken through all those processes of getting those documents, so we knew what to expect, how to get them. Then also we were getting job board, we, get, we, we were able to get assistance to, jo to join job boards. And then we were getting links to jobs, okay, go and apply here, this is what, where you apply to, this is the people that are currently recruiting and all that. So that was, that went during our career week and even after so we're getting those supports as well so finally before i let you go um would you recommend to people to join Bramatorial if they're if they're interested in the healthcare space or you would rather tell them to think very well before joining in what, what would your words what would your advice be i would say that um they should they should they should take this opportunity now because we don't know what's going to happen, what um, countries are going to, you know, the policies may change and everything because Ramatoria is legit and um, the, this certificate that we got, we understand that it is not an easy certificate to get outside of the UK. So to have somebody, to have a, 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 an education platform that actually follows through all the process, no matter how challenging, no matter you know, how rigorous it has been. And I think people should just seize this opportunity now because you don't know what will happen. Next. So I really recommend Grammatoria if you want to you know, um, go into healthcare, either you have a background or you don't have a background and you want to earn your you know, UK qualified certificate. So I think we, the, the people should just, you know, take this opportunity now. I would highly recommend grammatical education. Thank you. Thank you very much, Olaiton. Thank you so, so much. I will not um, take much of your time. Thank you for joining us. Um, it's been a pleasure listening to you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Now, now, now the, the thing is this. The thing is this. I'm aware. I'm aware that, you know, it's illegal to sell steel West in the uk for instance but the good thing about you is that your training covers um those who are looking to move to new zealand australia uk and the republic of ireland so it's not just one unit dimensional and you are you are not selling cos no you're selling you're selling you're you're helping to train train like we'll train you from training you we'll give you your certificate and then we'll support you till you get a job in any of your choices. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I want you to speak on, there's a question here, and I've seen two of them, so I want you to speak on them. So one, one is like, I have a BA in education, I have a BA in this. Um, let me just read one of them out. Um, I have a BSc in international relations. Is it possible to enroll? Um, how long is the duration of the training and what will it cost me? So um, and can I pay? Can can I pay um, instrumentally? I've seen yeah. two questions like that, so I suppose you could answer. Okay, yes. So if you have a bachelor's degree in a different course, you know, in in a non-related, non-healthcare-related field, 
you have an OND, HND, or maybe you do not even have a degree, you just have a YX certificate, then this course will take you from the scratch. It takes you from zero to hundred. So that's why you hear people saying that the course is quite tough. So um, it takes you from, you know, from the scratch, from basics to becoming a qualified healthcare professional that can be, you know, registered under a regulatory body in any of the countries that we have mentioned. Um, so you can join, you can join. And the duration of the course is six months fast track. So please bear in mind that, that that six months is for the fast track and it could take up to 12 months, you know, for the normal time. So that's the duration. But you do not have to finish the course because halfway through the course, in between the course, we start to expose you to the international job markets. So we start to bring in people like, you know, our guest just said, we bring in recruiters, we bring in specialists and employability coaches. We start to, you know, um, help you with your CV, make sure that your cover letters are well streamlined and tailored to the international jobs that you are applying for, which in this case is the healthcare jobs. We ensure that you are registered with all the major job boards in the countries that you are interested in applying to. And we take you through the sponsorship, you know, the sponsorship route. So each country, they have a list of um, jobs or list of, um, you know, organizations that are able or that are credible and can sponsor people or are accredited to hire international workers. So we take you through that process and then we even like went ahead to give them links of companies that are recruiting and, you know, support them through the application process. When they get interviews, we are right there to prepare them for the interview, even up to the point of signing contracts, reading, the, reading through the contracts with, you know, with our learners and our clients and up until they apply for visa. So we are there to guide and support all through you know the journey and the life cycle of getting your qualification and getting the job fantastic uh, in terms thank of you. Course, thank you, you can send us, you can send us a dm like i said our cost is going to increase from january i've said that several severally that we're going to increase the cost from january so our current cost right now is you know just send send us a dm and that cost will be for november only by January, the cost is going to increase. Okay. Um, I'm trying to, I, I had invited um, someone else who was part of your program, but I'm trying to find him. I can't find him here. Um, Binga, Binga Ogunleya, if you're watching, please just send a request. I can't seem to find you, but if you, if you, can, if you can send me a request so that I can bring you on live, um, I'll, I'll be very grateful. I've, I've, I'm trying to add you but i don't know what's happening um so please just try and send me requests so that i can add you um someone is asking can one use this certificate in canada um yes yeah, so for canada i know that canada some several provinces in canada have their own hca course so this this certificate is globally recognized is a uk qualification so you can use it in canada you can use it in you know, in any country in the world. It's accepted in all the European countries, in New Zealand, in Australia. It's accepted, you know, worldwide. My question to you is now, this, this training you're giving to people is going to be useless, okay? If okay. at the end of the day, and, and I know, um, okay, uh, let me rephrase this question. This training is, is, is not going to be of any benefit if people are not able to use it eventually to get jobs in New Zealand, Ireland, UK, Australia, wherever they want, excuse me, wherever they want to go. While I understand that individuals need to put in their effort, I mean, you cannot train me now, for instance, and then I go to bed. I don't apply for jobs. Mm -hmm. Or when they call me for interview, they I ask me, hey, I'm saying C and D, you know, there's still that individual part, but what role does grammatorial help with finding jobs? Have some of your students found jobs? Have you helped people come to the, well, we live in the UK together, so I, am, I know that you've helped people move to the UK, but I, I would like them to hear from you. Um, have you helped people move to the UK? Have you helped people get jobs? Talk to us. Okay, thank you very much for that question, Doctor. So several of our students have been successful in getting jobs in the UK and Ireland. 
So those are the two countries, like I said earlier, we were focused on the UK and Ireland, you know, when we started. We don't have any testimonials for Australia yet because the Australia route is very new. We just started in May and companies are still signing the agreement. So Australia is still in process. But for UK and Ireland, yes, we have plenty of testimonies. We have several students that were able to get job even before the certificates came out, before they got their jobs, you know, before they got their certificate, they got jobs. And, um, you know, several of them are still in the process of, you know, getting interviews. For UK and Ireland, we have testimonies, yeah. Okay, fantastic. Um, I'm trying, Benga, please, if you're watching, if you're here, send the request so that I can accept your request. Um, how many courses have you successfully completed? I think we just answered that. And, and how many jobs and job contracts have you secured? What does it mean by how many courses have we successfully completed? I, I think it means how many people have you trained? Oh, we've trained a lot of people and lots of them are still currently in training. Yeah. And how many job how jobs, how many, how many contracts have you secured? I don't know what it, he means by contract. I think, because I the think, contract I think maybe, to... maybe he's talking about job contracts, maybe like NHS, for instance. How many, how many of them so have you many, secured? So many. There's just so many. I keep receiving mails every day. Like the, the latest one I received on Thursday, Friday was to secure, was to get 60 nurses for a particular NHS trust before the end of the year. So there are more jobs than we can even get people that are qualified for. So in terms of how many contracts that we have secured, we have lots of contracts than we have the people that, that will do the job for the nurses. For the healthcare assistants, you know, we, because our recruitment company are, cannot act as third party, you know, being that, you know, all the rules through the UK, but several of our students have been successful in getting jobs. The thing about, you know, coming live, I always, you know, really appreciate anybody that is able to come live and speak because not everybody wants to come live, put their face out in public, but we have several testimonies to show for it. You can go to my page, you can see testimonies, written testimonies, live testimonies. We have plenty of testimonies amongst our students, amongst those that have come to do our two weeks program, our one month coaching program. So that is not a problem at all. Guys, for those of you who want to know where to send your DM, send your DM to Grammatorial Education. I've just pinned it at the bottom of the screen. Grammatorial Education. Once you open that page, you will see our DMs. You can send her a DM. Grammatorial. Make sure you copy it right. Don't send messages to someone who is not legit. Yeah. Grammatorial Education. G R A M M A R T O R I A L education no a dm is not locked is your dm locked a dm is not locked. no my a DM, a is, DM not... is not locked but maybe there is you know there's lots of dm coming in that's why somebody asks that do we train people in the uk yes we're a uk company we have our head office right here in london so we train people in the uk we have several students that are in the uk i think our first uk student in february he joined us early february and within weeks, he got a job in a private hospital in the UK. So we train, we train people in the UK. So if you're already here in the UK, maybe you're already on sponsorship, you're looking to switch sponsors, you're looking to switch into the NHS, or you're just looking to upskill and you're already in the UK, then I'll highly recommend this course for you. We have several students in the UK, so we are able to train students in the UK as well. Um, you can send us a DM. Our DM is open. Maybe you may, you may just need to wait because we're receiving like lots of DM, but we certainly are taking messages and inquiries as I speak. I need to say this, guys. It's not just so whether you're in Nigeria, whether you're in Ghana, whether you're in the UK, whether you're anywhere you are, it's not just anywhere you are, you can get training. You get online, there's an online part and there's a physical part to the training. Yeah. She would explain everything to you. It's, um, it's, it's, it's not something we can, we've explained it over and over and over and it's, it's in your time, time, um, excuse me, it's time consuming. Um, so, so yeah, I have, uh, questions are coming in, lots of questions. So guys, when, when you send a dm please don't say hi don't say hello and just wait that's not a, that's not a, an inquiry mm. 
Good evening. My name is so so so. I want to find out about this information. Blah 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 blah. How can I join Grammatoria? How can I sign up? What's the yeah. training about? What are the courses? To... Ask your question directly. Direct and question. be patient. Be patient. Be patient. I, I don't know how many DMs they get, but I mean there'll be series of people who have sent DMs as well. So just be patient. Someone will eventually get to you. Someone is asking if we train students in Port Harcourt. Yes, we have a partner hospital in Port Harcourt and we train students. We have several students in Port Harcourt. So if you're in Port Harcourt, you may want to reach out to us, send us a DM, and then we'll send you the details of the hospital partner in Port Harcourt. We have hospital partners in Abuja. We have in Accra, Ghana. We have in Nairobi, Kenya. We have several hospital partners. I think we have a student in South Africa now in Johannesburg. So, you know, it's it just, you know, depending on where you are, distance is not a barrier. It doesn't matter where you are. People have asked me, do you train people in Pakistan, in, in uh, India, in Thailand, in Singapore? Absolutely. So anywhere in the world you are, you will join us online on Zoom and then your practical work experience will need to be done in a care setting. Provided you can find a care setting or a hospital to do your placements or internship, then you can absolutely join this course. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm very furious with someone who is saying, oh, this is sponsored. Please don't come here. Don't come here and reduce me to that. I don't take such, I don't take such nonsense. If you, if you don't want to be a part of my community, get the fuck out. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, just get out. Okay, don't come and tell me that I'm, I'm sponsoring stuff or okay, this, is, don't this is planned. Let me tell Something. No, please, you know what? Don't, please, don't, don't please, no, no, wait, 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 yeah. wait. Don't, don't, don't talk yet. I, I, um, see, I, 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 what I do, what I do. You, you guys don't pay me for anything. You guys don't pay me. This is a consequence of we trying to help. Okay, and so when I try to provide information and tell you this is what this person does, then you come back to me and tell me that I'm sponsoring people. I'm doing this. Don't try it with me, please. Don't try it with me. I don't take that nonsense. If you don't want to be here, go away. It's simple. I didn't come with a gun to your head and say, oh, compost, don't, don't come here. Don't put my name or involve me with any of this nonsense, please. I'm going to say this again. For my account, don't try this. In fact, let me just take you out. I'm, I'm sponsored. Nonsense. Nonsense. Okay, so, doctor, you, you would always have people that will come and say things. I don't even blame them. I don't, I don't <sighs> listen to them. I don't even, you know, I don't, I don't entertain them. Let me tell you a short story. I have <sighs> one of the students, one of the grammatorial students that joined, and she did everything she did. She got a job. I told you about her. She got a job, and I was very, I assisted her to get a job. Even one of the one of the care companies she wanted to get the domiciliary care when they asked her for accommodation, I was willing to stand as her guarantor. I went out of my way. She just came to do training, so went out of my way to ensure that this girl gets the job. Sent references for her, did everything for her. She finally got the job, got into the UK, and became very abusive. The moment she got to the UK, became very very abusive. For what? just for what like what well, you know you know when you pick people that have never been abroad before they've never yeah. seen abroad before you suddenly take them to a new you know a new community a new environment they suddenly feel that they've arrived so they they forget simply what has happened this they forget the process and simply grow wings and just begin to talk anyhow um uh, people that you know you 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 you're lazy a lot of people are lazy they don't go through the process they want magic. If you, if I tell people now, pay me five million naira, I will get you COS. Pay me, they will come and pay me ten million naira. I will get COS. Then I'll run away. Those are the kind of people they want. That's but people who are going to tell you the truth and say, get your training. We are going to train you. We'll tell you step by step process. It is painstaking. There's no magic. There's no magic in moving abroad. You can't just do like this. And raise somebody, your leg, somebody, and suddenly somebody, you are in the UK. Somebody said, there must, somebody said there must be a reason. This is someone that I applied for her visa for her. We did it together on Zoom. I'm paid with my own card. Paid with my own card. If she can be listening to me now. And the moment she got to the UK, she used to call me Mam Laura before. The moment she got to the UK, she started calling me by my first name. 
So that was when I knew that there's something wrong. So I tell people, don't call me mommy. Don't. Don't even come to my DM and call me mommy. I'm not your mommy. I just do what I need to do and I do it because that is the reason why I want to do it. So when you come here and someone is trying to bring you news, bring you information, goes about, get things to help you, how much did she pay for the course? How much do you pay for the course? You paid for that course, you got all the career support, you got job, you got reference, you even got visa application, applied for your visa for you at no additional I'll cost to you after you let, pay let, let me let me let me let me let me make ask, you laugh what did you do to her let me make you laugh let me make you laugh now and this is not this is not an advert of course so you know when tech is tech is raining at the moment yeah so there was a time i wanted to do i wanted to sign up and you know learn tech so i said let me go online we, we are in the uk now so let me go online and you know try and acquire a tech skill i wanted to sign up for a tech skill and I saw the price. I was like, what? what? I brought people I bring here. I mean, there are companies I bring here to come and teach people tech. They charge maybe like 500 pounds or less. In the UK to learn data analysis, you are paying 5,000. 5,000 yeah, pounds. pounds or more. I was like, why do people, why do people, I, because I don't understand. Mm. All right, all right. Right. Sorry for sorry for the run. Sorry, sorry for, the, for run. the distraction. Sorry, sorry for the distraction. For the run, my UK um, number, my UK number is on my Instagram profile. So if you go on my Instagram profile, Grammatural Education, and check on contact, you will get my my UK number and be able to send me a direct message on UK. Okay, so we do not, you know, bother about people. We do our business, and I'm sure there are many people that are appreciative of what we are doing. You know, we cannot please everybody. That's the truth. That's one thing I've come to realize. Several people will sign up for this course without completely understanding what they are getting into. And some of them will fall by the wayside and get disgruntled. So we cannot please everybody. We are aware of that. So what I'm just going to say right now is if you're considering the United Kingdom, please make sure that you're qualified. Because the UK, they are reviewing their, um, their, their healthcare worker visa. It's under review at the moment. I said, I think I, I did a live last week, and I said that there are two occupational codes for carers. One is the senior carer occupation code that has always been on the shortage occupation list. And the second one is the carer occupation code, okay? So what you want to, you aim for is the senior carer occupation code. And the level three diploma in healthcare support qualifies you for a band three role in the NHS, qualifies you for registration with CQC, and qualifies you for that senior carer role. So you're not pitching at the carer level, you're applying for jobs that are at a much higher level. And it's always less competitive the higher you go. So when you're applying for jobs abroad, there is competition. So you always have to be aware that there is competition, no matter the country you're applying to, provided even people in the UK, there is competition. People applying from outside the UK, there is competition. So that's one thing you have to have at the back of your mind. And then you need to have a strategy to beat the competition. So what will be my strategy to beat the competition? Employers are looking for what? For applicants, for employees that will add value to their company. I always say that as an employer, I'm looking for an employee that would come and help to grow the business, add value to my company, and you know, I'd be ready to invest in that kind of employee. So before an employer invests in you, have you invested in yourself? Have you invested in your career progression? Have you invested in your own professional development? So you need to ask yourself those questions. If, if the tables were to turn, and you were the hiring manager, would you, would you hire yourself out of a pool of 100 people? What have you done differently? So these are the things you need to look out for. Australia has just recently opened, and I know lots of people are saying that, oh, not, not many companies have signed the industry or the labor agreement, the aged care labor agreement. Yes, they are currently going through the process of signing. So do you want to wait until 100 companies sign and start recruiting before you go and get your skills assessment. So that's what lots of people do. They sit on the fence. And when they sit on the fence, they wait until things start happening. And when things start happening, they want to rush. And by that time, it's too late. 
So Australia has come out to say, we need workers in the healthcare sector. We've opened a visa subclass 482 for the healthcare sector. We are currently undergoing a process of accrediting or signing agreements with, you know, with employers that would be able to bring in foreign workers. And people are sitting down and folding their hands and watching and saying, let's see others go first before we go. So that's the, you know, that's very typical of, you know, people. But when you start to hear testimonies, and there's just that rush in a year that people are going and by the time you want to come in it may be too late so please Fantastic. guys I will... yeah i've got i've got some questions for you and i know you've answered this but please don't get tired of answering so some people are saying i'm in cape town i'm in dubai so how are those people going to get training they are in south africa they are in dubai are you able to train them that's that's one question um, another question is that can they bring dependents? You know, the UK has said no, no more bringing dependents from January. If, excuse me, if they get jobs in the UK, would they be able to bring dependents? For as far as I'm aware, you can bring in dependents for the UK. You know, there's no official, there's no official uh, memorandum or official notes to say that you cannot bring in dependents as a skilled worker. You know, it's just you know rumors going around here says so you can still bring in dependents ireland you can bring in dependent for 12 months so you need to work in the republic of ireland for 12 months before you can bring in your dependents for new zealand and australia you can go with your dependents but you know it's all it's all down to personal opinion but i don't think there's any country that will say as a skilled worker your dependents cannot stay with you it's just a matter of when it's just a matter of time and for those in South Africa, those in Dubai, are you able to train them? Absolutely. So like I said earlier, we have students in Dubai. We have students in South Africa. We have students in several countries of the world. So you can join from Turkey. So you, you can, can join, join from, from anywhere. You can, you can join, join from, from anywhere. anywhere. Let and me ask you this one. Let me, no, no age limit. Let me ask you this one. I have a diploma one in nursing assistant. One, another diploma in health care and social care and another diploma in adult care can you help me with job search in the uk okay number one i need to know where those diplomas are from so i don't know you know i have i've had lots of people come to me and say i have a diploma in health and social care but we quickly found out that it was just as good as this as paper you know so they just went online did some online course paid 15 pounds and got this and they said they have a diploma in health and social care so number one i need to know if your diploma is off core regulated or if it's endorsed by an accredited you know awarding body um and then i need to know what kind of experience you have before we can you know support you through our job search process our job job search you know supports is targeted mm -hmm. at qualified healthcare professionals so people that are licensed to practice like doctors, nurses, you know, uh, people that are licensed to practice dentists in their home country. So we focus more on licensed healthcare practitioners or registered practitioners. Okay, fantastic. Um, is there any other thing you want to raise? Any other points you would like people to know? Um, you've said that there is no age limit. Anybody can join from wherever you are. Um, if you're looking to transition into the healthcare space, um, optometrist, you're a nurse, you're an healthcare person, it's easy to do. Even if you don't have any background, um, Grammatorial is offering that they can offer you training, they can help with your CV, they can help um, in your job search. So it's, it's an all dimension, it's a so, three dimensional so process and it involves you as well. Don't say because you are getting the training, you just fold your hands. You have to do your part. No, there's nobody that's going to spoon feed you. There's a, there's a holding your hand process, okay? Your hands will be held, but nobody's going to spoon feed you. So you have to be ready to put in the effort as well. Yeah. Um, talk to us about this whole IELTS. I heard that say something about ECTIS. So yeah. is, is IELTS a requirement or is it ECTIS that is done or is it PTE or what, what's, what's that about? So you need to have English language proficiency. It's a requirement in UK to have English, to be proficient in English. Uh, New Zealand and Ireland as well. To work as a healthcare worker, you need to be proficient in English. So the minimum requirement is IELTS or equivalent. 
So ECTIS is an equivalent of IELTS. So if you've had, if you've, you know, done a degree in English language, you can apply to ECTIS to, um, to do a conversion or to certify that you are proficient enough to meet the standard of English language. You, there are also other, you know, uh, organizations that um, the UK will accept, like PTE persons. Um, so those are just a different English language test. And once you start studying with us, we can advise you and guide you on which English proficiency will be suitable for the country that you're targeting. All right. Um, people like asking repeated questions. They join late and they ask the same questions over and they over. They need to watch the replay. Yeah, they need to watch the replay. Um, it, whether you have health experience, whether you don't have, even you have health experience, you don't have health experience. You have a background, you don't have a background. Age limit is, there's no problem. Anybody can literally get training. If you're interested in using the healthcare visa sponsorship route to move to the Republic of Ireland, the UK, New Zealand, Australia, okay? You need to get trained. After getting training, yep. you will get a certificate that is regulated yep. and recognized. Then you will get um, a career support that would eventually push you and open the door for you to be able to get interviews and um, get the role you want. It is a patient process. It's not magic. Yep. You have to be directly involved from start to finish. You have to be directly involved from start to finish. So whether you, um, and for those with experience, whether you are, you know, an healthcare assistant, you are a nurse, you are an optometrist, a social care worker, dental hygienist, um, 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 physiotherapist, physiotherapist um, auxiliary like, nurse, you have the background yeah. in health, you health. can join in, you can, it doesn't matter, okay? So it doesn't for matter. The, for the registered professionals, is the two weeks course for Australia and New Zealand. So if you're already registered, you don't need to do the level three diploma. You just need to join the two weeks course that shows you how to apply for jobs, how to make yourself visa ready. That's a two weeks coaching program. And then for those that are interested in UK and Ireland, it's a one month program. So you, if it's if if your target is UK Ireland, you go for the one month coaching. If your target is New Zealand and Australia and you're a qualified professional, you go for the two weeks program. And if you are a nurse, an international nurse, and you want to work in the NHS and you have a minimum of IELTS 7.0 and you have done your CBT part A and part B, and you also have registered with NMC, you've initiated the process of registration with NMC, then you can send us an email and we'll be able to help your relocation process to the UK as an NHS international nurse. So these are the packages. My, my, my final question to you, I want to talk about timelines. So let's assume I'm interested in this now and I come to your DM, make an inquiry and I make payment today to start the training. Talk to us about the timeline. What's the timeline from when I pay to when I finish the training to when you are going to be able to, you might be able to help me secure a job. Okay, so doctor, for everybody, it's on a case-by-case -case basis. Because this course is not like in a school, so to say, it's, you know, you can do it at your own pace. So it's a case-by-case -case basis. We've had students that have come in, that have been very dedicated, and they've been able to make it. We've had others that have come in and, you know, the pressures of life, family problems, they, they are not able to submit. I've had a student that has not been able to turn in any assignments in two months, three months. That kind of student cannot graduate. Even during the days when we were in university, there were so many people that, you know, started out on the journey. They did the matriculation, but they end up spending seven, eight years, nine, ten years in the university. So it's on a case-by-case -case basis. It depends on your commitment. So I would say this course, this program needs commitment. This pathway needs commitments. So as long as you, you need to be commitment, that's the currency that we speak in this course, in this program, in grammatorial. The currency is commitment, dedication, and work, and hard work. That's the currency. And if you are willing to spend that currency, then you can what? You can shorten the time frame that you will spend here. 
sorry, sorry. There's another question I want to ask. Um, how does this benefit someone already here in the UK on a student visa, but wants to convert? You know, immigration has been shown a lot of people these yeah. days. Um, yeah, immigration. I mean, there are some people who who, who had their their visa cancelled. They've been given maybe like one month or two months to leave the UK, and the only way out is to convert. So. For someone who's already here in the UK on a student visa and wants to convert, you know, to healthcare assistance, does your training benefit them? Absolutely. I said that at the start that we have several students in the UK. Our first UK student joined us in February this year. And within a matter of weeks, he landed a private a job in a private hospital. Within a matter of weeks, you know, so because he had a very peculiar situation when he joined us. And he needed to switch his visa very quickly. So I, I, I allowed him to join the career week for a cohort that he was not, you know, a part of. So he joined that career week. And I think about two weeks after the career week, he landed a job. So if you're already in the UK and maybe you're a student, your student visa is coming to an end and you're thinking of what next to do. I want to get a job with the NHS. Or I want to get a job with any company, any company at all, any healthcare company. I want to, you know, go through the healthcare visa pathway. Then you can come on this course. Let us know your, you know, your situation. Let us know what it is you're going through. We don't perform magics. I will have to say that. But I would say give yourself a good three months. You know, give yourself a good number of months. Not the fact that it happened within two weeks for someone doesn't mean that it will happen like that for you. So it's not abracadabra. It's a process. So I would say you should give yourself some months before your visa, you know, expires. Join us and then go through the process. We'll give you the career support to be able to get a sponsored job legally through the right means, through qualification, and be able to, you know, switch and get um, a COS. Amazing. Any, any final words you want to share with um, the okay. audience, the viewers? Thank you very much. It's been a long time. Uh, so my final words will be, whether you are in the UK already, you're looking to switch COS, or you are outside the UK, you are looking for a job, an international job in the healthcare sector, whether you are a career changer, you're looking to transition to healthcare, or you're already a registered licensed healthcare professional. It doesn't matter. We are here to support you. We have different packages. We have qualification packages. We have mentorship and coaching packages and we have the NHS relocation package. So whatever it is that you desire, whatever it is that you want to do in terms of healthcare visa routes to Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, and the UK, just come into our DM, tell us of your particular situation, and we will have a tailored made you know, um, package for you. We'll explain to you what we have for you. And we're just here to help you. I would say finally that you need to take that decision now. You need to take that step now. Okay, you need to invest in yourself. Not all the time looking for who will help me, who can I pay money to do it for me, who can I pay to do it for me. Why don't you invest in knowledge, invest in your self-development, invest in your professional development. Don't spend all your money paying bills. If you're in the UK, you can get into that trap of, oh, I have to pay bills, I have to pay bills, I have to pay bills. And the year is coming to an end. You are still in the same position. You're still in the same spot. You've not made any progress. For you to make progress, for you to upskill, for you to upgrade, you need to invest in your professional development and you will reap the reward. People are reaping the rewards. People are earning two times, three times more than what they started the year with after they got certified, after they got qualified. So it's up to you to make the decision. We're here to support you. We're here to guide you. And we look forward to helping you along this journey. Our next course is starting on the 27th of November. It's the Level 3 Diploma in Healthcare Support, ROQF, on the 27th. And the non-ROQF is starting on the 13th of November, which is tomorrow, Monday. So you still have a window of opportunity to join us. And I hope you make the right decision. Thank Fantastic. you very much. Thank you very much. So listen, guys, this is for those. This is for those who are interested in the healthcare visa sponsorship pathway to the United Kingdom, Republic of Ireland, um, Australia, and New Zealand. It doesn't matter your age. 
anybody can do this. It doesn't matter where you are, in Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa, Dubai, Venezuela, Guatemala, it doesn't matter where you are. So long as you have internet access, you can get the training. Number three is to say that whether you have a health background or not, you can qualify. If you have a health background, it makes it easier. But if you don't have a health background, you can get training. Number four is to say that it is not magic. You need to be directly involved. You need to be patient. You need to be dedicated. You need to be consistent. And it starts with you getting trained, you getting certified, and then you getting um, career support that will eventually get you with um, um, job opportunities. Um, I also want to say that the, the, the fee is individualized everybody has different conditions so it would not be fair to state a, a round figure here online when situations might be different some people can get discounts some people might not we have a fee if you want me to state it i can state it oh, here. okay so the if that, if that's true to you i know we've had this discussion before and the, i know that the packages have different fees. exactly but if exactly. you want me to state for the ROQF level three diploma is a thousand five hundred pounds today, and for the non ROQF it is seven hundred and fifty pounds. For those that have been asking for the for the price, but the the fee is going to increase from next year. But for today, that's what it is. And we and the last cohort we are taking is the November cohort, a thousand five hundred for ROQF, and for the non ROQF is seven hundred and fifty. For the coaching, the coaching, we have different, you know, categories as well for the coaching course. So send us a DM and we'll just, you know, if, if it's what you can afford or if it's what you want to do, at least you've heard it now. So, so many people have asked. And to prevent so many people from coming to our DM asking the same question, I'll announce it now. But don't hold me by this word in January next year because anything can change in terms of the fees. All right. Thank you thank you very much for doing that um so guys if you're interested and you know this is a pathway that suits you go ahead and give it a go send a dm to grammatorial education and there'll be someone there to reach you look i apologize for my rant earlier um i mean i've not slept and then someone comes online saying eh, he has he sponsored he speak i don't do fake i don't put my hand in anything that is fake and you know that has that is not strict I don't get involved in it and i'm sorry if i if i let out i was just pretty upset um it's time for me to get my sleep now um thank you very thank very you. much All thank right. you so, so much thank yes. you take care everyone bye. good night see you bye bye